Hello, and welcome to the weekly broadcast of Strategic Speaking for Results. I'm Elizabeth Bachman, your host, and this is a personal post today about how important it is to nurture your network. I am recording from a friend's house where I am visiting for the weekend, so that's help. I think of this today as uh, getting by with little help from your friends, because having a strong network is is so important. How do you how can you move ahead with your business, with your career, unless you have people to help? One of the biggest mistakes I see people making is trying to do it all themselves. And I've made that mistake many times, trying to do it all myself. It's important to nurture your network and to be sure that you choose the right people. If you're surrounded by family and friends, say, who love you, but don't understand why you're doing what you're doing, or don't understand why you want to take a course to get better, why you want to move forward or rise in your organization, maybe those aren't the people to hang around with. Make sure that you're going to surround yourself with people who understand what you care about. This weekend, through an absolute chance, I had a free day in Stuttgart, and somebody that I met online recommended me, told me about a group of German women who were meeting to discuss how to get more girls into the STEM careers. Um, They call it MINT here, Mathematic, Informatic, something else. Um, And so they were all talking about, all these passionate women, talking about helping women's voices be heard. And it was so nice to be around a group who understood, who cared about the things that I'm passionate about, who understood why I am passionate about helping women's voices be heard. I have been, I've had kind of a, an interesting and chaotic last couple of months. This fall, I've tried doing some different things. Some of them were great. Some of them were not so great. I I know some things that don't work now. I was doing a lot of it from my computer alone. And I'm an introvert, so I'm usually quite happy alone. But I leaned on my network to say, how do I do this new thing? Who's done it before? Can you help me figure out how to do that? So that network helped me do it. One of the things I was trying to do was simplify my life a little bit so that now These broadcasts are not every week. Uh, I have so much material and so much useful things. If you want to learn more, follow me on LinkedIn. That's where the current stuff is. And we repost some things because it's still very useful information. Also with the podcast speakers who get results, we're broadcasting every two weeks now because I have three and a half years of really good content, really interesting people that I'd like to share their information. And frankly, it gives me a break. It gives me a chance to create new things, to take the time to create new things uh, rather than all the time it takes. Even if though I have a staff, I have help. It still takes a lot of time to curate, curate the right things, to get things going well. If you need, if you're needing to try some new things, find friends who understand you, who will help you talk things out. So that's a a strand of the web, if you will, of my golden spider web of wonderful people who help me. How I can talk something out and who are patient with me if I have to talk something out two or three or maybe even four times because before I actually understand where I want to go. Personally, I'm a verbal processor. So for brainstorming, I need to get it out of my head and talk about it. And the third thing I was gonna say is take the time to 
go to the conferences, find the conferences that will have people who understand you, who are excited. This conference that I, the conference of German women sponsored by the Women's Bureau of the State of Baden-Württemberg. Thank God they've got one. Let's, it let me meet new people who, who got me, who understood. And I thought, I'd forgotten how much I needed that, how important that is to meet people in person. It's been a while since I've met people in person, partly where I live now and, um, and various other reasons. So finding that community and recognizing, ah, they get me, I get them, let's see what we can create together is a very important part. So ask for help, reach out for your friends, talk things out if you need to, find the patient ones who will talk through something and let you work it out and take the trouble to talk to the people who are going to support you. Take the trouble to go see them. Get out from behind your commu computer. This is, I need to hear myself say this. Get out from behind your computer and reach out. It will be worth it. So this has been Strategic Speaking for Results. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. This December, we're gonna be focusing on self-care during the holidays how to think about things, how to take care of yourself in the crush of the year and hassle. I'll see you on the next one.